Hey, beautifuls. I'm just Jackie is here. Happy New Year. Um, Yeah, this is going to be the first video I'm dropping for the new year, right? Right, right. So I'm here. I know it's been a, a while, you know, since I've dropped any content. So again, Happy New Year. This is a sponsored video. Sponsored video. And the video is sponsored by Welltopia. Get it? Get up in here. Welltopia. And I was fortunate enough to try the menopause support tea. I know y'all like, excuse me, menopause. Look at you. I know. <laughs> I don't even look like a, I'm a day over 35. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. But I'm several days over 45. Over 45. So I'm beyond the 35 age limit, right? So anywho, I'm just Jackie is here. Again, this is a sponsored video. Um, Welltopia menopause support tea um I, like I, again i was fortunate enough to be one of the um lucky ladies to try this tea out this tea is supposed to you know help relieve us women a seasoned women um who are going through menopause who are in full menopause but still experiencing the effects of menopause the transitional effects of menopause um i'm 45 years young i have actually i actually started going through menopause probably in my late 30s maybe i want to say maybe 33 ish because that's when i noticed my cycle really started changing ladies side sidebar to sidebar when you when you notice your sidebar your sidebar when you notice your cycle starting to change, like um, if it's not clockwork monthly, and then you might it might disappear for two months, and then it reappears and it's super heavy or super light. When you're going through these different changes in life in your cycles, you might be on the verge of starting your transition into menopause. And the the thing about it is, everybody thinks menopause is just for older women, older women who have lived. All of their good life, you know, got all day on and, you know, they just chilling and they just going through this change. No. Again, I was about 33-ish when I noticed changes going on with me, right? And then when I mentioned it to my doctor, he was like, ah, there's no way. You you might just have, five, not fibroids, you might have thyroid. But I'm like, thyroid, shit, no, no, not me, no. So anyway, they did all these tests or whatever, and it, it, it came back nothing. So as years progressed, the, like, stuff just got worse, right? You know, first it was just my cycle change, and then I, you know, um, I was starting getting these little hot moments, you know, which now, of course, we know that I know. I was young. I was to me. I was a young whippersnapper. I was in my early thirties. They are hot flashes, but I, I know what you know. I didn't know what was going on with my body or whatever, whatever. So in between thirty three and forty, I was just going through all this stuff and just trying to, you know, I was just letting it happen. I wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't taking anything, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, um, well, I did try a couple of the herbal. Like, I went to the herbal pharmacies and um, got some natural herb, you know, uh, concoctions. Um, it helped, but it didn't. It, for one, it took forever to, like, get for my body to absorb it in the system because it's all natural, right? And, you know, in my mind, it takes longer, longer for all natural products to for your body to absorb it. So there was some relief at one point, but no. And, and then it just got to the point where... I was I was wearing makeup and at at that time when I was married my husband was like you must be having a hot flash I was like yeah why I'm trying to be calm and cool about it he's like you're looking like a hot wax figure so my makeup was like not running but you know like I'm just like glossing shining so hard looking like wax okay so anyway long story short pushing on through 40 you know I'm 45 now so I'm, I'm at 40 years old you know I'm like yo doc um. He was like, when's, when's the last time you had a cycle? I was like, dude, I didn't have a cycle. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't had a cycle probably in a year. He was like, what? I said, yes. Yeah, so, so it's probably been about a year since I had a cycle. It's like, you're only 40. I said, I know, Doc. We've been through this before. And um, 
he was like, well, we're going to do do these tests. I was like, well, you did the little thought. He's like, nah, nah, we're just going to make sure, you know, because I don't believe it, blah, 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 blah. And they do this little, you know, I was doing my little yearly thing, you little pat, boop, legs up, feet, boom, So they, they take the little Q-tip looking thing. And they try to, it's certain, it's something that they're scraping for to see if it's going to end up on this Q-tip. There's nothing scraping on this Q-tip. He's just doing whatever, doing whatever. He was like, well, Miss Warren, he was like, oh, I guess you're right. I guess you are in full menopause because nothing is, yeah, dry as a bone boo. There's it's nothing. You're not getting nothing, okay? So anyway, he was like, well, how are you feeling? You know, I told him about the hot flashes and stuff. And I was, he was like, well, do you want any? Uh, I was like, no, nah, I don't want any prescription. I don't, if you can't recommend nothing all natural, I do not want it. And he did recommend some over-the-counter. But how all natural is over-the-counter? I, I don't know. You know, ladies, I, I don't know. You guys let me know. I did try it, but it, it, it was not successful for me, okay? So anyway, that was 40 years old, diagnosed as full-blown menopause. So I've been full-blown menopause since 40 years young, and I'm 45. And I haven't seen a visitor since, knock on some wood. I don't miss her, you know what I'm saying? But um, there's certain things that you notice that are different when you do go through menopause as a woman, you, you know. And then, but this ain't what this video is for. But I was just giving you an overall general synopsis of what I was going through because they say I, I started early I did I think my mom started early too so it could be a her hereditary thing I don't know but they say if you start menopause early you could go through these symptoms for like up to 14 years so I'm 45 I want to say let's just say I started at 35 you know because I want to say 33 for real so in my mind do I got four more years of hot flashes y you know what I'm saying and, and Listen, before I started this tea, um, they wasn't, it could be times where they are super intense. It could be times where they're just, you know, mediocre or whatever. But it's, it's overall, the hot flashes are annoying. That's my worst symptom right now for menopause. That's my worst symptom or top two. I ain't got time to get into the, the other one. That is a whole nother damn video if y'all want to know let me know so anyway so yeah so the most uncomfortable most miserable because it's like it's like a fire within and it's just trying to escape it's really trying to escape it feels like a fucking fire burning within you and you're trying to escape and it's like what can I do to to get it to escape quicker? And ain't shit you can do to get it to escape quicker. You just sit there calm and cool. You know, if you got your little fan, put your little fan on you. You got your little um, piece of paper. But don't go don't go like this. I'm telling you, because the more you move, it's an, it's intensifying this hot flash. So you got to be like real cool, real cool, real mellow. Be still. Just move that hand and that finger and, and just let it. And then when it finally breaks, it, it feels like a fever broke. You know what I'm saying? Because your pores are opening up. You're going to have little, you can have little beads of sweat all around your face, right? Oh, me, for me, it's like the forehead and the cheek area because, you know, my pores and stuff. And I'm just like, sometimes it's just so bad, like I can feel the cold sweat. Some, like, And I start freezing because all your pores is open on your body because that's like, a, like you know, that's how a fever breaks. Everything opens up. All your pores open up and it lets it all out. So when your pores are wide open and you're coming down from that 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 fever, like like if you're sick and you have a fever, you get the chills and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, I could go on and on, but I'm not. That's the. But I I wanted to give like background of what you know this tea is supposed to help relieve. Okay, so again, Weltopia menopause support tea. Okay, so I was sent a package. Yes, let me let me see. I got my hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Right here, I was sent this package, and it has thirty eco-friendly tea bags. Right, thirty eco-friendly tea bags. Hold on y'all because I feel like my camera is trying to focus. Damn. Alright. So, and I will say this. I will say this. 
it was a blessing in disguise. But it okay, so the menopause support to you it says helps to protect your heart, increase estrogen. Because when you're going through menopause, you lose estrogen, ladies. Look, I'm coming in closer because I'm trying to get this camera to focus back on me. So you lose estrogen. So that's that's the other pet peeve about going through menopause. It, the hat for me, hot flashes and look and low estrogen. Okay. Boom. So anyway, increase estrogen, enhance your mood, and decrease hot flashes. Yes, that's what this says right here. Okay. So let me tell you what you know what's inside of these tea bags, right? So first of all, let me just show you what it, what one of the tea bags look like. This is what the tea bags look like. Like so. Okay. Smells good, all natural. Like the way it smells is the way it tastes. And I'll get to that in a second. So Wiltopia, a caffeine free herbal tea with a juicy fresh peach taste with lingering hints of sweet cinnamon. A perfect tea any time of day to help bring balance back to your body. Y'all hear that, ladies? Help bring balance back to your bodies, okay? So, why these herbs? You want to know? Okay, so, they got several different herbs in it. So, I'm going to tell you the herbs that are in there, and I'm going to tell you why the herbs are in this tea. Like, what the herbs, the the pro drink the pro having this herb in this tea so the first one is cinnamon helps to protect your heart let's see eleuthero root and i'm probably sure i spelled it wrong i mean i said it wrong helps with night sweats amen hallelujah because how, ladies how many of y'all out there had them had them night sweats and you just laying in bed comfortable and all of a sudden you don't woke up and you woke up all clammy and, and sweaty and you didn't even know you was had listen I got stories but we ain't got time because I'm I'm here to tell y'all about how y'all gonna get relief from all these damn menopausal symptoms okay so red clover helps to decrease hot flashes mm, made me want to shout about it on this Sunday so ginkgo leaf it says helps to enhance your mood so like when you're going through all these menopausal symptoms and ugh, hot flashes and, and everything in between your hormones are crazy you know what i'm saying like i remember my kids just didn't want to be around me i ain't want no mother to be around me either because i was so annoyed because the hot flashes just used to throw off all chemical balance okay so shout out to the ginkgo leaf Licorice, licorice root helps to decrease hot flashes and increase estrogen. Peach flavor balances out the cup, balances out the cup and enhances the overall taste profile. Black cohosh helps to increase estrogen and helps with vagina <laughs> dryness, bitches. You hear me? Do you hear me? Listen, y'all think y'all heard me? Cause. I wasn't going to get into it, but now I'm reading this shit. So now I can get into it just a tad bit, right? Okay, so my top two pet peeves about going through menopause is the freaking hot flashes. And it just said it right here. It just said it right here. Vagina dryness. Vagina dryness. Now, for me, I ain't talking about just walking around with a dry ass pussy, y'all. That, that, that's not what I'm talking about. This is not what this tea's talking about. It is talking about when you are having sexual encounters. When you're having, um, getting pleasured. When you're in the midst of, <sighs> okay, with your partner, right? There could be a time during the session where you just dry out. Your 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 shit dries out. It just gets dry. And everybody, well, I don't know if everybody knows how if you have an experience, if you if it could be times when you're just not feeling the, the motion of the ocean from the this person you're with and your shit just dries up. You just not into it. This ain't this ain't why my shit dries up. My shit dries up because I'm old. No, I need to say the old. My shit will dry up because it's just that little hormonal imbalance with low estrogen and going through the menopause and all that stuff. So, um, at first I was embarrassed about it and everything, but if you're dealing with, uh, if you're dealing with the right 
type of man, you know, the man understands. And you know what the man does? If he's a real man, the real man is just going to suggest some shits, you know, maybe a little lube, <laughs> you know, a little KY, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, and it works. It, it works just fine. Or, haven't had to, haven't had to do that in a, you know <laughs> let me let's chill all right so telling too much <laughs> listen haven't had to, haven't had to do that in a while so you know who, look, I can't I can't listen too much too much too much too much too much, too much, too much bitch bitch too much don't do that. but anyway we here <laughs> we here. So let me re emphasize it got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven herbs, right? I'm not even gonna include the peach forget the peach flavor. So we got six herbs, right? But let's see. One, two, three of them helps with hot flashes, right? Then one, two. Two of them helps with um uh, estrogen. Increase the estrogen. You know what I'm saying? So these herbs are very beneficial to us women. Okay, like we need this in our lives, right? Like if we're, if like if you, uh, ladies, if like you're going through the beginnings of of menopause and you're starting to experience these hot flashes, but they're not as <sighs> intense. I, I highly recommend you try this tea, baby, right right now, because it, you're gonna get. A great amount of relief. Okay, so let me keep on reading right here. So, um, just so you know how to, it gives you brewing instructions on the back. It says use one bag of tea per cup, one cup per day. You know, boiling pour pour boiling water over tea and brew for five to seven minutes. And then it does give you a taste tip. It says. Add honey or lemon. I haven't tried the honey yet, but I did try the lemon, and I'm not a fan of the lemon. I feel like, this is just me personally. I'm not saying don't try the lemon. Try it, but let me know. If you get, I'm going to have all the information in the description box below for you, my beautiful ladies to try this, okay? So, and I want you guys to come back and tell me, like, yo, I tried it, and, like Jackie, boom, 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 boom. So, anyway, so for taste tips, I have tried it with the lemon. It altered the, the taste to it too much for me. I love just the, and I got a cup right here. I love the natural taste of it just as it is. I haven't tried it with um honey. I might try it with the honey, you know, but honestly, I love it just just as is. Just as is. It's just perfect. Just as is. you can taste a little hint of cinnamon. You can taste a little bit of peach. It's just the perfect balance. And it just tastes, it, it really tastes good as is. Trust me. It tastes good as is, right? So then it says storage requirement. Reseal after use and store in a cool, dry place. Avoid heat exposure, light, light air, and odors and moisture. Okay. So I love this packaging. Look at this. It it has the resealable ziplock, you know, boom boom. So you definitely keep it fresh. You just put it in your kitchen. Like it says, keep it out of uh exposure to heat, so a lot of light. Excuse me, any any place that have, that's holding the odor or too much moisture or whatever. Um and again, let me read the ingredients again. It's black kosh root, ginkgo leaf, red clover herb, cinnamon chip. Erythro root, licorice root, natural peach flavor. That's everything that's in this tea, okay? And then um, it gives me the website. It tells me where it's manufactured, blah, 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 one to one. It got the FDA statement at the bottom of it, so it has been approved. Um, hold on. Okay, look, I about to, I about to say something wrong. I'm glad I kept reading the babies. Sometimes you just gotta read that got that fine print. So it does. It says FDA statement. They don't say FDA approved. It says these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Our products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Consult your 
you know, the normal blurb when you're taking, you know, taking something. Consult your physician before using any herbal products. All matters regarding health require medical supervision. Boom. Okay. So that is just a disclaimer, disclosure that all companies have to do when, you know, sell a product like this, right? So now for me, I have been trying this for, let's see. I think I've had this for about a month now. Now, have I been drinking it every day? No. Uh, if I had been drinking it every day, I probably would have tremendous, 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 um, tremendous results to, to share with you. But honestly, the results I'm going to share with you, they, they're, they're still tremendous, you know, with without actually using this product every day, like one cup of day, right? All right, so when I first got the when I first got the the packaging, you know, I started um I started using it, and within the first seven days, I felt tremendous relief. I felt a tremendous difference. I was like, I didn't even realize I hadn't had like a really really serious uh hot flash. You know what I'm saying? Like the intensity of the hot flashes. Mm, for, seriously, they're not as intense. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, honestly, right now, um, and oh, in the what is it? The intervals of the hot flashes are, are very far few in between. Because I could like have a hot flash right now, and then like maybe 30 minutes later, I could have another one, and it's like maybe. Uh, it's either like it's, it's either going from it just depends because what I'm saying is I can have a day like I could get annoyed by something right like there are tri if, if you guys don't know this study hot flashes because there are triggers to hot flashes like um before I started trying to you know try to find a natural remedy or whatever it's like I started being more mindful of what I was putting in my body and I started being more mindful of like I could tell like if I get stressed or irritated about something at work like if I'm trying to figure something out and it's kind of like got me for a loop for a hot second I could feel like the little heat rising or like so irritation will cause a hot flash like if you're annoyed mad or whatever they'll cause a hot flash certain types of liquors will cause will intensify your hot flashes like I want to say everybody's different though. I know when I used to drink red wine, I love a sweet red wine. Shout out to Duplin. But I don't drink it as much no more because it intensifies my freaking hot flashes. I noticed when I drank rum, which was Captain Morgan, it used to intensify my hot flashes. But at that point in my life, I didn't care. Captain Morgan was my boo. You know what I'm saying? And I was going to drink my boo. But... My body said, okay, this chick ain't listening. She not going to stop drinking this captain, so let me trick her ass up. So what my body did was my body started rejecting Captain Morgan. I, it was just like I would, I just started feeling like crap. Every time I would drink Captain Morgan, I would feel like crap. Like I, I never felt like that before. So this is why I don't drink Captain Morgan anymore. Every once in a blue moon, I might. Um... I might, I'm sorry, I just got thrown off by a text. Every now and then, um, I, every now and then I, will, I, I might drink some, it just won't be Captain Morgan. Like, if it's a, I don't, honestly, I don't really think I drink too much rum no more, period. Like, I, for me, if I'm buying it, I'm buying vodka. If I'm out and about somewhere, I think you know, some people might have Crown Royal, but that's not, you know, that's, that ain't no goddamn rum. But anyway, so I really have chilled out on the rum. So you just got to pay attention to your body and notice certain things. So I know when I changed my, my drinking habit, you know, of drinking rum and stuff, I, it, that helped out tremendously too. But I was still having hot flashes, right? So fast forward to me drinking this tea. So I've been drinking this tea on a regular probably for the last three weeks now. Yeah, last three weeks now, right? And I'm telling you, the intensity of the high flashes have subsided. Honestly, I haven't like if I have a, if I do have a hot flash, it's probably once a day now, and it, and it ain't nothing. So the more 
I get into this tea on a regular basis, the more it's gonna help stabilize me. You know, I, I feel like it's already I feel like it's already has stabilized me to be honest with you. And um it's helped with my moods, helped with my train of thoughts, thinking, and just helping me stay focused. And yeah, and then like I said, when a hot flash does come, it's just it's just not that serious no more. It's really and then oh, here's the cool part about it though. So if I do have one, it don't last that long either. Remember I told you it's like a boiling on the inside, like you waiting for some water to boil and the water finally boils and it's like when are you gonna turn this fucking eye off? You know what I'm saying? I don't it don't drag out that long anymore. It's like okay, okay, it comes I'm like boop, 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 boop. So ladies, saying all this to say it's a lot of us out here going through menopause. There's a lot of us out here who's going through early menopause. There's a lot of us who is full-blown menopause, like myself, at the right young age of 45. And what I'm saying is, if you want some relief from it, I feel like you should give this tea a try. Give this tea a try. Okay? Give this tea a try. Yes, this is a sponsored video, but I, I, all the thoughts and opinions are of I'm just Jackie. You know if I didn't like it. You know if I said the shit don't work. I'm gonna if it don't work. I'm gonna say it don't work. I'm gonna say I don't like it. I don't care. I don't care if the company don't want me to come up here and, and give the negative results. But I don't have any negative results to give you. The only thing I'm gonna I don't know the price. I, I swear I don't know the price because like I said, this is a sponsored video. Um, this was sent to me for free. And, but yeah, I will have all the information in the description box below. I believe they gave me a, um, a discount code for my beautifuls out there. So there's going to be a discount code in the description as well. So anybody who has hung out with me this long and yeah, I appreciate y'all and I'm, I'm here and I'm just bringing different things to my channel. I, 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 listen, I, I know I don't look like a, a seasoned woman. <laughs> but I am <laughs> and I'm still here and I'm just going to give y'all any type of inf information I can that's going to benefit everybody who watches this channel across the board whether you're just here for makeup whether you're here for life after 40 life after 40 is everything life after 40 is my personal life after 40 it could be concerning health like I'm just br I'm bringing y'all this tea you know what I'm saying so shout out to y'all shout out to y'all Keep rocking with I'm Just Jackie. Tell a friend. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. And, you know, come back for the next video. And again, Happy New Year. See y'all in the next video. This is. Try this tea and let me know, beautifuls. Try it. Try it. Okay. Bye.